I recently learned that the Central Intelligence Agency compiled a top secret dossier on otters. I'm intrigued, so today I'm going to read, react, and fact check the CIA's A Dossier on Lutra, the Otter. I'm KP, a marine biologist with a decade of experience working with sea otters. So this dossier doesn't say why the CIA was interested in otters, and unfortunately, we'll probably never know. This top secret otter project was part of the CIA's MK Ultra project, which was an illegal human experimentation program focused on brainwashing and psychological torture. Some shady shit going on. MK Ultra was revealed in the public in 1975 by the Church Committee of the United States Congress. But investigative efforts were hampered by CIA Director Richard Helms' order that all MK Ultra files be destroyed in 1973. A cache of 20,000 documents relating to MK Ultra somehow survived and was uncovered by Freedom of Information Act requests, including this dossier. So maybe we can piece together what the CIA was doing with the otters based on the information in this dossier. Is this my first time reading this? Some of this is going to be the first mm. time reading it. Lutra, the otter, is a compact, powerful, intelligent animal capable of negotiating land, water, and obstacles with great facility. Can open zipper. He <laughs> <laughs> opened my throat. <laughs> I love that that was, that, was a, that was a selling point for them. They were like, this is an animal that can open zippers carry stones and marbles. Why do we need to carry marbles? Enters and leaves boat easily. This is all true. Otters have extremely dexterous paws and this allows them to get into all sorts of trouble. This part about opening zippers and entering and exiting a boat makes me wonder if the CIA tried training them to slip into a boat, root through someone's duffel bag or something like that. I can see otters being good at stealing something. They are weasels after all. I don't understand how you planned on getting that object back from the otter. <laughs> otters really like to keep the things that they steal. Which is something the CIA understood because in their miscellaneous do's and don'ts, the very first don't is never take food away from otter <laughs> or suffer severe mauling. <laughs> I like how they give you the trade-off though. There's the option like you don't take the food away from the otter, but if you must, severe mauling for you. Now I want to know what they were feeding the otters. Eels are particularly good. <laughs> are we sure? Eels aren't usually in their diet. We'll eat poultry, animal meat, eggs, and other animal foods. That's probably the diet of a river otter. And I do think that parts of the CIA dossier are talking about river otters, but definitely they do specifically mention sea otters a couple of times. Sea otters exclusively eat seafood like clams, mussels, and crab. River otters actually eat a lot of land animals too, like lizards and rodents. This is always one of my biggest pet peeves. People often tend to treat sea otters and river otters as the same, even though they are completely different species with very different physiologies and very different needs. After two recent river otter attacks near Lake Tahoe. And you can learn about some of those differences in this video right up here. Young animals can be bottle fed with the same formula used for human babies. Um. <laughs> As someone who has raised sea otter pups, I can tell you that this is a bad idea. No wonder there's a whole section about how to control a baby otter's diarrhea. <laughs> there's an entire section of this actual CIA uh, dossier dedicated to what comes out of the other end of a baby otter. All otters are automatically ha housebroken. It didn't say that. It did not say that. All otters are automatically housebroken. I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a while. Um, no, I don't really. I don't. I don't know what else to say except for no. Sorry, Rialto. Poo. <laughs> He's all mad because he had to poo. He had to bite Rialto because he had to poo. They will pee and poop all over you and all over everything that you love. I ruined a pair of shoes with sea otter pee. I mean, I guess I should be glad he didn't poo in here. <laughs> Schedule feeding of young sea otters once per two hours. This is actually shockingly correct. 
This is exactly how often we feed baby sea otters when they're rescued. It's very ticklish around the ribs. <laughs> Wait, no. Good way to distract otter. No. I don't need to explain that one. That's a good way to get your fingers removed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a hard one to get through. Voice ranges from chirps to a wail of rage. <laughs> yes. 100% correct. No notes. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> Basic cost of animal. <laughs> 75 to 250 dollars. That seems a little low. Otters are incredibly expensive animals. Sea otters need to eat a quarter of their body weight every single day, and I'm not talking about dog food or kibble. They need to eat high quality seafood like clams, mussels, and crabs. It costs about $35,000 to $40,000 a year to just feed one of our animals. And that doesn't take into account veterinary needs or even maintenance of their habitat, um, keeping the water cold, things like that. Must be taught to swim. This is true of both sea otters and river otters. River otters are kind of famous for videos of the adults taking their pups by the scruff of their neck and pulling them into the water, teaching them how to swim it looks a little bit worse than it actually is. But sea otter pups can't swim either. When they're born, sea otter pups are so buoyant that it is physically impossible for them to dive under the water. They can just bob at the surface like a cork. But my favorite part about this dossier is the way Newsweek described it as being laid out similarly to a child's report on their favorite animal. Just listening to the opening paragraph here. There are many species and subspecies of Lutra. Lutra lives all over the world in various forms. They may grow as large as small seals. The sea otter lives mostly at sea, is nearly extinct, and differs considerably from land otters. <laughs> I posted a link to the dossier down in the descriptions. I want you guys to let me know what you think the wildest thing in this dossier was down in the comments below. And if you like this sort of thing, I also have a Patreon and any contributions you make to that help support this type of content. There'll be a link posted down below. Otters have no natural fear of man. Um, well, this is sort of twofold. Wild, wild otters certainly do fear people. However, um, I can definitely see them thinking this when they have uh, otters under human care, uh, because they definitely can appear to be fearless um, if you, especially if you have uh, one of these objects that they would like to take from in, inside your zipper. Libby got a hold of some keys today. What are you doing? 